Hey guys, what's up? Josh Short here from Edit Video Faster. It has been forever since I've created a new video for you, so long that I have uh, notes that I'm gonna go off of for once. Um, in this video, uh, I'm going to show you how to use the timecode window in Avid Media Composer. So, as you can see, I'm in version 8.4 right now at the time of this recording. They're on 8.9, but it's pretty much the exact same thing, and it's been this exact same way for forever with Avid. So why use the timecode window? Well, first off, you can see your timecode in two places by default in Media Composer. So up here in your record window, you see your timecode up here, and down here in the timeline, you see it right here. And this actually hasn't always been here. Um, this maybe came around in version seven, uh, something like that. Um, so before that, uh, you used to have to use something called the timecode window to see it a little easier. And um, just kind of by habit, uh, I still keep this up in my workspace that I use um, pretty much all the time. So if you go up to tools, you can find the timecode window. Go ahead and click it. And uh, mine jumps uh, over here with two lines. I'll show you that what that means in a moment. Yours might pop up over here or up here. I don't really know where it jumps up by default. Anyway, so uh, we have our time code window. And we can see we have two lines of um, information. Yours might just say one line. So real quick, yours probably looks like this. All right, and what this means, so master TC1 and these numbers here. So this number correlates to your time code for where your uh, play position indicator is um, with TC1, your time code track. Uh, and so as you drag your time position indicator, this is going to change. And you see that number here and here and here. Uh, and if you're like me and you've been staring at a screen for too many years and uh, this just isn't big enough for you, you can click this drop down, go to size, and make it a different size, make it larger or smaller. All right, got that a little bigger. All right, now let's say we want to display two lines of information and uh, show something else. We can click this drop down in the timecode window, uh, go to add line, and a new line is going to pop up. And I actually don't even know what REM stands for. What I like to also display along with my time code is the in and out. Uh, if I had an in and an out selected, it would tell me that duration. So if I click the drop down here, I can go to sequence, time code, TC1, and then I slash O. All right, and so if I set an in point in my timeline and an out point, I will know that is one minute, one second, and 10 frames. Uh, that can be pretty useful. Let, let's say you want everything to be two seconds long. Um, I go make my in point, I go plus uh, 129, out point, and now I have a in and out of two seconds long. And I can make an add edit, make another add edit, uh, and just go from there. All right, and one last line you might want to add is the duration. Uh, so if you click the drop down again, let's add a line and go back, click the drop down, go to sequence, go to time code, TC1, and we'll select the duration. And that, that will tell you how long your sequence is. Uh, so pretty much from the first frame to the last frame of video, I know that this sequence is two minutes, 41 seconds, and 20 frames. Um, as you can see, that's probably useful if you're trying to hit a certain time, let's say 30 minutes, and you want first frame to last frame of your sequence. Uh, you can determine it by using the time code window. Um, jump around in here. There's a ton of options. Most of them I don't ever use. Um, you can display the footage uh, time code. If you go down to source and then select uh, the track, let's say V1, and select the time code. Um, it's not going to display anything until you actually hit a clip on V1. So you watch as I scroll, as soon as I hit that track, that's displaying the time code on the source of what's on V1. So let's say you have a ton of footage and um, you know your post supervisor is next to you and they, they want to know the time code of that specific shot. Um, I mean, you can do... Uh, 
find frame and go back and then go look like oh it's five seconds and and 13 frames or if you have the time code tool up with this selected you can just see it right in there um, so that is it guys thank you so much for watching this video i have a ton more videos in the works uh sorry it's been so long since i've posted um, but if you go to editvideofaster.com you can see what i've been working on over there uh, if you are not subscribed i would love it if you click that uh, subscribe button uh, until next time uh, i've been josh short with editvideofaster.com and uh, i'll see you later